What is going on guys? Welcome to Natsumi's vlog book. Today I will be showing you how to quickly tell apart between half wave plates and quarter wave plates you might find lying around in the lab. Not only this video will be useful for experimental physicists, but if you are a photographer, this video explains how your variable ND filters work as well. I will not be diving into a physics of the polarization of light, but instead, I will post links to YouTube videos that help me understand how all of this works in the description. So go check them out. Here's my setup. I have a clean vertical polarized light coming through, so I put a half wave plate to create a combination of vertical and horizontal polarized light for our little experiment. When this light hits the polarized beam splitter cube, the vertical polarized light reflects while horizontal polarized light transmits. The way I remember which vector corresponds to which polarization is horizontal polarized light, or sometimes referred to as a p-pole, lies parallel p pole parallel c to the table, and the vertical polarized light or s-pole is the other way. In general, I work with linear polarized light, so there's only two directions to worry about. Now we have our mysterious optics. It could be unlabeled wave plates or mislabeled wave plates. In my case, this one is an unlabeled wave plate. So a way to quickly check what optics you have at hand is to stick it in between the half wave plate and a polarized beam splitter cube. If you have half-wave plate, you should be able to rotate it around to get rid of either the transmitted or the reflected beam. In this case, I was able to get rid of the transmitted beam, so I know this one is indeed a half-wave plate because I was able to turn one polarization into the other completely and vice versa. Here's an optic with a quarter-wave plate label. So I stuck it in, rotate the axis around, and I wasn't able to get rid of the transmitted beam, so... Yeah, I knew that I had a quarter wave plate and the label was indeed correct. Here's another optic with a quarter wave plate label, but I had a reason to believe that the label was lying to me. So here we are. I stuck the optic in the middle and I was able to get rid of the transmitted light. That label was indeed a lie. Here, let me double check again that I was able to get rid of the reflected light as well. And yep, it's a half wave plate. Now that I figure out what this optic really was, I relabeled it as any good lab citizen would do. Always label your optics, guys, especially when your lab uses more than one wavelength. You don't want to see a bunch of optics lying around not knowing if you could use it. It's just a very sad situation, especially if you're short on stuff. And that is what your variable in the filter is made of. It's actually a two half wave plate slab together. And that's why sometimes you get a weird cross pattern with the shape stuff because you're actually manipulating the property of like the polarization of the light. You're not just cutting off like by reflecting or absorbing it. You're actually manipulating it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, let me show you what a wheel in the filter looks like. You see this little guy here with a wheel? This is a photodiode and this variable in the filter is there to manipulate the amount of light going into this guy because this little photodiode can only take so much. And if you look at the trace on the scope which represent the amount of light hitting this diode, you can kind of see the green trace going up and down as I move this wheel left and right. That's all. This is all I'm doing here. I'm just doing this. And that is what an ND filter really looks like. Well, I hope this video is useful and if you like it, please like and subscribe so that you too can start paying me for my coffee and I can continue to do science. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.